Okay, hi, this is Steve from Ultraceps Color Separation Software. And um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a method of how to adjust an underbase for a color separation where the original art fades off into nothing, basically off the shirt, uh, or artwork that contains like a glow or a lot of like light transparencies uh, at, along the edges, uh, such as in, in this example here. Now let me zoom in and I'll give you an idea what I mean. And I'll turn on uh, a black background so you could uh, see it a little better. And if you look closely, you know, in this area here, you know, you'll have a fairly solid, well-defined, yellowish, orange color. Uh, but as it comes off of this more solid area, it's very transparent, okay? This reddish flame glow. Uh, there's, um, well, this creates a problem when you're uh, generating an underbase for a t-shirt separation. Uh, what happens is that you don't wind up with enough top color to effectively cover the amount of underbase that's going to be generated here, Okay. And in addition to that, the underbase is going to want to even explode a little further off of the area. Now, some of it is actually a little bit of an exaggeration on screen because you're viewing 1% or 2% dots, and chances are good you're probably not going to hold that 1% or 2% dot uh, in your, um, on your underbase screen. So it's going to look worse on the monitor uh, than, it, in, than it will on your T-shirt. However, this is going to need to be adjusted. And I'm going to uh, show you how to do it here, at least one method, and um, I'll give you an example. Now here we have a six color separation of the same file to the left. Now this is an RGB file, okay? And this is a six color separation. Now once we turn on the shirt background and look at the white underbase, you'll see what I'm talking about, where you're getting that explosion of white coming off the edges, okay? And if you look in the info palette, around here, you know, you got one, two percent down to here, but right here it starts turning into five. Now you're going to hold that. Now if you bring your, um, if we select our red channel in that area, you see you're only going to have about maybe seven, eight percent red, and in your yellow channel you're only going to have two, three, four percent yellow, so there is nowhere near enough yellow and red uh, to effectively cover this explosion in the underbase. So what do we need to do here? Well, we need to adjust the underbase. And what we're going to, the type of adjustment we're going to have to make is one that's going to affect this area here, uh, but not have a global impact on areas where you really need that more solid white. So let's zoom back out so we can see what we're doing. And we'll make sure our underbase is selected. And we'll go up to Image, Adjust Curves. Okay, now when the Curves window opens, um, if you don't see all of these options, click this little uh, arrow here that says uh, Curve Display Options. And make sure to click the button that says uh, Pigment Ink Percentage. Uh, because you want, uh, at least for this adjustment, you want this going from light to dark. Okay, you have this gradient bar at the bottom. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the handle in the lower left hand corner and we're going to drag that into about 18. And you can see the effect that had on the edges of the underbase. So if we turn preview on and off, you'll see that we've effectively removed that problematic glow. And now there's one other adjustment that we're going to need to make is we want to make sure that we didn't lose density where we really need it. Okay? Now, if we check in areas such as this, we see we went down from about 78 to 73. Uh, areas here, we went from 62 to 54 percent white. Uh, under the yellow, it stayed almost the same. So we're only really losing about 5 percent of white uh, in higher density areas. So to get that back, you'll need to grab the upper right hand uh, handle on your curves and move it into the left a little bit. And when we go back on our 
take samples again from our uh, white underbase, you'll see that we're back right around where we were. Actually, we're even a little higher, which is okay. And then select okay. Okay, now that we have a basic modification of the white underbase, let's uh, compare that to the non-modified version. I had a copy of the white underbase in this channel in this separation here. So let's turn off our adjusted version and let's turn on our unadjusted version. And there's a big difference. As you can see here where this white is just exploding off of the edges of that glow area and uh, our adjusted area is not doing, uh, at, at least doing a lot less of that. Now with this particular file, there's one other thing, maybe two, that you may want to look at is that the yellow and the red may not still quite be dense enough along the edges of this file, at least in areas, to cover the, uh, to cover the white that we do have. So in order to adjust that, we don't want to make a global adjustment using a curve or a level uh, to one of the channels, because by, by doing that, and I'll give you an example here, we're just going to add too much ink. Okay, it's just going to get too dark. So instead of uh, making a global adjustment, we're going to make uh, a selective adjustment. And uh, one of the two tools that a lot of people don't seem to make good use of in uh, Adobe Photoshop are the burn and dodge tools. And they are right here. Okay, the burn tool is the little hand. The dodge tool is the little uh, magnifier glass. Now here we're going to use the burn tool. We're going to select mid-tones, and we could just keep the exposure at 50%. And you want to select the brush that has, you know, it's about the right size, and it has slightly a feathered edge to it. And what you can do, and we'll zoom in a little bit to illustrate, is you can kind of just give that red a little bit more, you know, of a burn along the edge. And what I mean by burn is that we're adding, we're adding a little bit more density to that red ink along the edges of that file. And then we could do the same with the yellow. And we can make that yellow a little bit darker. Now I'm not going to do a perfect job. I'm just giving you an idea. Okay? And now when we go back and uh, take a reading with our info palette, and, uh, the red here is going to be reading 37, 38%. And out here we're getting around 16% or so, okay? And now we'll select our white underbase and where we where we had 37 38% red, we got about maybe 27%, 20% white and we have no white at all in areas where we have you know 15 18% or so in red. So what this is going to do is allow that ink to effectively um, fall off of the design uh, into the shirt, and you could actually make this red out here a little bit a little bit darker. And if you like, you could uh, you could possibly bring your uh, curves back, and you could maybe just take a little bit more off of that white, and click OK. And at this point, um, I think that the separation would print correctly on a uh, black or dark shirt such as you know uh, navy blue royal blue uh, whatever and that's one way to do it and uh, you know to get it perfect you could sit there with the burn and dodge tools and and you know tweak a little bit here and there um, the dodge tool is effectively the opposite of the burn tool whereas the dodge tool will take away density so if you wanted to take a little bit extra away in the white just you know along the areas where that curve is no longer having that much of an effect without greatly affecting other parts of your design, you could take that dodge tool and kind of, you know, make your make that white a little bit lighter along the edges. And that's about it. That's how you would uh, make a basic adjustment to a uh, color separation that with a white with a problematic white underbase that has a tendency to just expand into areas where you don't want. And that's about it. 
Thanks a lot for uh, watching this video. And make sure to check out Ultraseps.com. It's the number one color separation software uh, in use today by the uh, t-shirt screen printing industry. See you next time.